Last night I lay asleep and there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing and ever as they sang, I thought the voice of angels from heaven and answer rang. I thought the voice of angels from heaven and Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and Galilee. Perry Como's Christmas in the Holy Land. Starring Eleni, Israel's ambassador of song, the dancers of Shalom 80, the singers of praise. A Hanukkah celebration with the people of Kibbutz Kinnasar and special American guest Richard Chamberlain. Welcome to our Christmas show in Israel. This year our, our show is kind of a special one for all of us. In the past we've, uh, we've enjoyed the, uh, the songs and the customs of Christmas in many different lands. But uh, this year we celebrate Christ's birth in Bethlehem and his life in the places where he actually lived. Our journey will begin in this garden in the holy city of Jerusalem. Many believe that here on an early morning so many years ago, a woman named Mary Magdalene came to visit Christ's tomb. But as she approached the tomb, she saw the stone had been rolled away. An angel came to comfort her, saying, he is not here. He has risen. I wonder as I wander out under the sky How Jesus our Savior did come for to die For poor ornery people like you and like I I wonder as I wonder out under the sky. If Jesus had wanted for any we think 
a star in the sky or a bird on the wing or all of God's angels in heaven for to sing he surely could have it כן, זה הכל עשוי ביד. אולי במחרטה פרימיטיבית חלקים, אבל ברור שהרוב ביד. יש אפשרות שתמצאו עוד כמה כאלה? יש, ודאי. זה כלי נפוץ מאוד בירושלים, וודאי נמצא כמה רבים. אז אני מאחלת לכם בהצלחה. תודה רבה. Oh, boy, this museum is really something. It's really beautiful, and as you can see, uh, Jerusalem is an Orthodox Jew, mm -hmm. or an Arab schoolgirl, or a Dominican monk. It's really the miracle of tradition. For 3,000 years, Jerusalem has been here, has been a part of history. As a holy shrine for 3,000 years The city has endured A monument for all mankind Tradition, tradition The city of tradition Jerusalem, the city of tradition King David decreed This was the royal city It was a blessed city It was a holy place thousand Jews from 80 different lands now come Jerusalem their home the Jewish tradition a beautiful tradition in Jerusalem the city of tradition here was born the Christian religion the Christian religion Jesus preached the word And now for Christians all over the world, Jerusalem is sacred. The, the Christian tradition, a beautiful tradition in Jerusalem, the city of tradition. For 1,200 years, the Muslim ruled the city. After Mecca and Medina, this is their sacred place. The buildings they built are standing all around. The city was an ancient faith. The Muslim tradition, a beautiful tradition in Jerusalem, the city of tradition.
and tradition Where history's alive on every street Jerusalem, the city of tradition This land is mine God gave this land to me Another tradition in Israel is making the desert bloom. Not too many years ago, the hills you see here were a barren part of the desert. But now these hills are green with pine trees, thousands of them. And each one is planted by hand. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. Hi. We've got the tree for you. Thank you. You're welcome. What kind of a tree is this? It's a Jerusalem pine, Perry. Jerusalem pine? How old would you say it was? About two years old. Then we better plant it. You hold this. Mm -hmm. I'll take a little more out of here. You can mm -hmm. tell I know all about this. Okay, Ronnie, you put it in there. Good. Okay. There we go. Okay, Ronnie, put some more water around it, please. Okay. On this side. Would you take care of it for me? Sure, Perry. Yeah. Thank you. A little more water. The Hebrew name for this lovely old village is Ain Kirim. It means spring of the vineyards, and this was the home of Elizabeth and Zacharias, and the birthplace, of course, of their son, John the Baptist. A grotto at the church of St. John honors the place where the family lived and the spot where St. John was born. I want to take you up this path now to a very special place. Up this winding flight of steps is the Church of the Visitation, which celebrates the meeting between Elizabeth and her cousin Mary, the mother of Jesus. When the angel appeared to Mary and told her she was with child, Mary traveled from her home in Nazareth to Ain Karim. She visited Elizabeth and shared with her the angel's words, Ave Maria, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women.
this is what Jerusalem looked like during the life of Christ. What was the scale then, Rich? About, uh, about 1 to 50. This tower was uh, about 200 feet high. A person would measure up something like this. Gee, that's amazing. Yeah. Have any idea what the population was? About 200,000. Most of the citizens were Jewish, but Herod the king was appointed by Rome, and he wanted it to be a triumph of Roman architecture. Mm -hmm. I've read some things about him. He was... Uh... Quite a guy to deal with, wasn't yeah, he? that's putting it mildly. He even had this fortress built within the city walls and named it after Mark Antony because he wanted favors from Cleopatra. Well, that figures. And of course, this beautiful building here, that, that's the temple, right? Yeah, that was the real soul of Jerusalem, Perry. A writer of the time said it resembled a, a mountain of snow rising up out of the city. If we were alive in those days, where do you think we would have worked? Well, they probably would have found us hanging out down here at the hippodrome watching the chariot races yeah. but we probably would have worked over here at the amphitheater Sheer Yafe, a beautiful song. Great, Tadaraba. I didn't know that you spoke Hebrew. Well, we don't, but we're trying. I understand there's some shortcuts, some words in English that mean something in Hebrew. That's Just right. what we need, Rich. Yeah, could you give us a lesson? A little lesson. Well, uh, in Hebrew, Ani is me. Ani is me. And me is who? And who is he? <laughs> the Hebrew word for she is he. And when you want to call a girl, you say boy. Boy? Yes, Harry. I say, I think you've got it. Well, now that you've mastered Hebrew, I think uh, you're ready for a little Yiddish. So listen carefully, okay? Chiribim, chiribam, chiribim, bam, 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 chiribim, chiribam, chiribim, bam, 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 bam. 
Lamir zingen kinder lachen zeimer al zusammen. Anigen la freilich am mit werd al lach bus gramen. Die mame kocht al lachen zup mit kasche un mit kneilach. Kinder jante pieren welen spielen zup mit reilach. Chiribim, chiribam, chiribim bam 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 chiribim, chiribam, chiribim bam 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 bam. Here's a happy melody that we can sing together. It's guaranteed to make you smile in any kind of weather. Mama's cooking noodles, soup with dumplings called canadel. When it's time for Hanukkah, we all can spin the dreidel. Yeah. Chili bim, chili bom, chili bim bom 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 bom, chili bim, chili bom, chili bim bom 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 bom, chili bim, 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 Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Ben is Mecha. Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Hava, Nagila, Ben is Mecha. Hava, Neranina, Hava, Neranina, Hava, Neranina, Ben is Mecha. Hava, Neranina, Hava, Neranina, Hava, Neranina, Ben is Mecha. I'd like to show you some of the other places in the Holy Land where the life of our Lord unfolded. Today, many of these places, of course, are marked with a church or a chapel. Others are simply part of nature, like the branches of these old olive trees. Somewhere here in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane, the apostles slept while our Lord watched over them. And before the night was over, they they woke to the sound of soldiers carrying torches and weapons. Seeing the lanterns and torches, Christ walked forward through the olive trees and paused. Whom are you looking for, he asked. Jesus of Nazareth, the soldiers replied. I am he, Jesus said. It was early in our Lord's ministry that he selected the men who would carry on his work. He found two of them right here, fishing on the Sea of Galilee. As he walked by the water's edge, he saw two brothers, Peter and Andrew. And he said to them, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And they put down their nets and followed. During the wedding at Cana, Christ turned water into wine to please his mother, but there were other miracles that showed the power of his love. In Bethany, he comforted Mary and her sister Martha, and he said, Our friend Lazarus has gone to sleep, but now I will go and awaken him. Lazarus, he shouted in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus, a rose. In his lifetime, he left us with many strong images of this beautiful land. The waters of the Jordan, the lilies of the field, the bounty of the harvest, 
and the seasons of our life. We're several hours outside of Jerusalem right now, and from here you can kind of look across the open fields down to the, uh, to the Sea of Galilee, which is very beautiful. This is kind of a quiet place, one of, uh, one of great peace and solitude. It is known as the Mount of Beatitudes, the place where our Lord gathered his people and taught them how to pray. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was ready, his disciples came unto him. And he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Just outside of Tiberias, below the gentle rolling hills of the Mount of Beatitudes, a small church commemorates the place where Christ multiplied the loaves and the fishes. It's a 
Today, the tradition of fishing continues here, and sometimes alone, but more often together as a community. Living together on a kibbutz has become a very special way of life in Israel. These men and their families are members of kibbutz Ginnisar, located near the Sea of Galilee. About 600 people live here sharing life, work, and the bounty of the land. Besides the daily routine of work, family life is very important on the kibbutz, especially around holiday time. One of the most beautiful of the Jewish holidays is Hanukkah, a tradition that originated many years before Christ was born. Hanukkah is an eight-day celebration of light conquering the forces of darkness. And we're very pleased that the families of Kibbutz Ginnisar have invited us to join them in this wonderful celebration. Shalom Ubruchim Abayim. Ilanit, Perry, and my friends of Kibbutz Ginosar. We are gathered once again to commemorate the miracle of light when our ancestors returned victorious from war to restore that temple. Although they found only one day supply of oil to light the temple lamps, God let the oil burn for eight days. It is our custom for the eldest member of the kibbutz, along with his grandson, begin this special night by lighting the candles of our Hanukkah. Shlomo Doron, please. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvotav, V'Tzivanu L'Adlik Der Shel Hanukkah. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, שעשה ניסים לאבותינו בימים ההם בזמן הזה. Blessed art thou, the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who hallowed us with his mitzvot and commands us to kindle the Hanukkah light. Amen. this house, O oh Lord, we pray, make it safe by night and day. Bless these walls so firm and stout, keeping want and trouble out. Bless the folk who dwell sin bless this door that it may prove ever open to joy and love 
As you can see, the little town of Bethlehem has, has really grown up. But it was in these hills almost 2,000 years ago that uh, Christmas really began. We like telling this story because of what it says and because it's true. A church has been built over the stable where Christ was born. A small door takes you into the church, and at the end of the church, at the far end, steps lead down to the grotto. This is the cave where a stable was built, and shining in the lamplight, a star marks the birthplace of the baby Jesus. Weary, weary travelers, far away from home, on the road to Bethlehem, to heed the call from home. This story began in the days of Caesar Augustus, the emperor of Rome. Caesar had proclaimed that the people of his far-flung empire should come forward and be counted. Among them, there was a man and a woman. His name was Joseph. Her name was Mary. It was getting dark when Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem. All the rooms at the inn were taken, so they moved on and found shelter in the stable. And this night, something very special happened. A baby boy was born unto Mary, and they called him Jesus. They had no crib for the baby, so Mary put little Jesus to sleep in the soft, sweet hay of the manger. Jesus lay asleep in the manger. The shepherds on the hillside near Bethlehem were tending their sheep. Suddenly, a great light shone in the sky. The shepherds were frightened. Even the animals were hushed and still. But when they heard the voice of an angel of the Lord, uh, they were no longer frightened. For the angel brought good tidings, the news of a Savior born this day, news of Christ the Lord. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to told the shepherds they would find the Christ child lying in the manger. The shepherds hurried to find the child, and when they did, they fell on their knees to worship him, for he was Christ the Lord.
And all through the night, a bright new star shone in the heavens. Far away, three men saw the shining star, and they used it as a guide to lead them to the Christ child. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star The three wise men presented gifts to the baby. The first Christmas gifts given to anyone. It was a gift of gold, frankincense, and of myrrh. They too fell on their knees and worshipped him. A great peace settled on the night, for it was a holy night. Sigh. This is why when we celebrate Christmas, we think of Bethlehem. We think of the Virgin Mary. We think of the three wise men and the birth of the Christ child, the first Christmas. Christmas from Bethlehem. Good night.
We would like to thank the Israel Government Tourist Office for their help during the production of this program. <laughs>